Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist. And today we're going to be looking at the vegan diet, answering two key questions. Is it healthy for your body and is it good for the environment? A vegan diet is when you don't eat any animal products. So no meat, no milk, no eggs, no cheese, not even chocolate. Why would anyone give up all these amazing things? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but today we're gonna to be looking at the science behind a vegan diet. A common argument is that because vegans don't eat animal products, they're missing out on a lot of important nutrients. For example, the protein and iron that we get in meat or the omega-3 fatty acids that you can find in fish, or even the calcium from a glass of cow's milk. But let's look at the science behind this myth. Many animal products are packed with protein, but you can also get protein from vegan things like nuts, beans, lentils, and tofu. The fatty acids from fish are important for our brains, but you can also find fatty acids in things like chia seeds, walnuts, and a bunch of plant-based oils. And calcium is really important for strong bones, but you might not realize that you can find calcium in a lot of different vegetables. <music> Studies that suggest that dairy products are really healthy for people are usually funded by the dairy industry. And one study in particular actually showed that people that drink cow's milk are more likely to suffer from osteoporosis, which is a bone disease. The only essential nutrient that vegans miss out on is vitamin B12. It's really important for your nervous system and it's only found in animal products. Conveniently, a bunch of cereals, plant-based milks and soy products are actually fortified with vitamin B12 now. Or if you want, you can just take a vitamin B12 supplement and you're sweet. So if vegans are really careful about what they eat, they can maintain a healthy and balanced diet that doesn't lack any nutrition at all. Furthermore, there's a bunch of studies that have shown that people who are vegan are less likely to suffer from diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. So is it healthier to be a vegan? Yeah, it is. Think about it. Animal farming is really bad for the environment. It uses a lot more land than plant farming, a lot more water than plant farming, it produces a lot less food than plant farming, and it produces a lot more greenhouse gases than plant farming, which contributes to anthropogenic climate change. But if you're a vegan, you don't support animal farming, so you're not contributing to these negative effects on our environment. But it's important to be smart when looking for alternatives. For example, instead of dairy milk, you could drink soy milk. But a lot of soy is actually grown in the Amazon, so drinking soy kind of contributes to deforestation. Or you could try oat milk, which actually uses a lot of land to produce. Or you could try rice milk, but rice milk production involves a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Or you could switch to almond milk, but almond milk requires a lot of water to irrigate those almonds. Don't get me wrong, all these alternatives are better than dairy milk, but they aren't perfect either. And it's really important to do your research on the types of products you're consuming, whether you're vegan or not. Anyway guys, this was just a quick overview of a vegan diet. There is so much more we could discuss, but in short, if you can maintain a nutritionally balanced vegan diet, that is more healthy than a standard omnivorous diet. And in many ways, it can be really beneficial for the environment as well. Should you go vegan? Well, now you know the science behind the diet, you can do whatever you want. But the bottom line is that animal agriculture is really bad for the environment. Eating meat is not particularly beneficial to your health. In fact, it actually increases your risk of certain diseases. And eating vegan is really cheap and really healthy, assuming that you can maintain a nutritionally balanced vegan diet. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, click the like button down below and let me know what you think about vegan diets in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is going to be all about gluten intolerance and celiac disease. So make sure you subscribe for more Travelling Science every week. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Many animal products are packed with protein. Or even the calcium that we get in our milk. Am I a vegan? No. But am I going to become a vegan? Probably not.